I'm Anil Kumar and in this series we are going to explore sine 2a, the double angle formula for sine. And then we'll have a few applications and we'll do the similar thing for cosine also. Let's begin by the compound angle formula which is sine of a plus b. Now what is sine of a plus b? As you know sine of a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b, right? Now, if in this formula I substitute a equals to b, then what happens? That is what we are going to explore, right? So let me substitute a equals to b or write a instead of b. Then what we have here will be sine of a plus a, right? So instead of b I am writing a and then this formula can be written as sine of a cos of a plus cos of a sine of a, right? Now sine a plus a is 2a, correct? So I could write this as sine 2a equals to sine a cos a cos a sine a. Both are same terms, so they can be combined and I can write this as 2 sine a cos a. So that is the double angle formula for sine, right? Now as most of my students have been wondering about, there are not too many things which you have to remember. Even if you know the basic compound angle formula, you can always find the others within a minute's time, just as we did here, right? Now based on this formula, you will have many examples in the book. Some of them could be, uh, write the following expressions in terms of single trigonometric ratio. The expressions could be, for example, uh, sine of 3x cos of 3x is equal to what? Or it could be 6 times sine of 2x cos of 2x is equal to what? Right? Or maybe, maybe half time sine of 4x uh, cos of 4x equals to what? Now these questions are very simple to answer now. We are actually making it two of this, right? We know 2 sin x cos x is sin 2a, correct? So we could write this expression as half times 2, right? And then sin 3x cos x, which could be written as half times. Now 2 sin 3x cos 3x will be twice that angle, right? So we can write this as sine of twice 3x which will be half of sine 6x, correct? So same method you can apply here also. If we have a product here which is more than 2, it could be split as 6 could be written as 3 times 2, right? Then we can have, well here this should be x, sine 2x cos 2x and now I can combine these terms and write it as 3 times sine double of 2x which gives me 3 times sine 4x, right? So likewise you can do the next one and similar questions, right? Another interesting question which lies on the same line is we know what sine 2a and the question for you is find a value of or expression for sine 3a, right? So now figure that out course you will start with writing this as sine 2a plus a expand and simplify but I think that'll be an interesting exercise for you let's move on and learn more things about sine 2a thank you